Welcome along to another trick from Totally Magic. Please, if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate that. It really helps a small channel like us in this huge universe of YouTube. We're going to do a trick with the four most powerful cards in a deck of playing cards. The four aces. They are considered the higher ranking cards in any gambling game. They've also got a nickname called Mag, short for Magnets, and I'll explain why. You see, we're going to lose these four aces into a pack. Now, I know I could just put them on here and shuffle them in, but I want to put them in separately so you can actually see the cards going into the pack in different places. We'll push one in here, one in here, one a bit further down, and another one down there. You can see that quite clearly. And if I push these in slowly, just to prove that I'm not sneaking them out, okay, they are going in like that. So there we've got these cards in here. Now, if I was to cut the pack, and I'll give it one, two, three, four, five, six cuts, and I'll even give them a shuffle, okay? So we'll give them a shuffle and even an overhand shuffle. That way, the aces are lost totally in this pack of cards. Now, magicians, like gamblers, always have a lucky card. It's kind of like a, a rabbit foot. You know, you rub that card and it brings you good luck. You see a lot of gamblers in Vegas do this. We need a lucky card from you. Can you just touch any card? That is going to be your lucky card, yeah? What is it? Oh, it's a lady, the Queen of Clubs. That's going to be your lucky card. You rub that and it brings you good luck. Now, what I'd like you to do is to go through the pack and I want you just to touch any card. This one. This one here. This one. And this one. Is that a free choice? Four cards. Of course, one thing you forgot to do is out of all of these cards, you forgot to rub your lucky card. Yeah, your little rabbit's foot. Let's just put that back on the pack. Just give it a little rub. Yeah, that brings you good luck. Out of all of these cards, you picked out four. Let's see how lucky you were. This one, wow, how lucky is that? 52 playing cards, maybe that was lucky. Let's give it another little rub, just for luck. This one, it's another ace. Let's give it another rub. And there are the four aces, the magnets. Practice and enjoy. So here is the secret to this very quick effect. And I quite like this. It's one of those ones that you just want to finish off a routine. So you may have performed some sort of card trick that has the four aces, the four kings, etc. Something like that. And you just want to, before you put the pack away, you just want to give them one more hit. Bam. And this is nice, short and sweet. It's not going to drag on for 10, 15 minutes. Once you've got the four aces, you want to lose them in the pack. Now the move that we're going to do is very simple. Even a beginner could do this, trust me. Regular deck of cards. You are going to put these in separate parts of the pack. Let me just show you this on here. You can see that the cards are in separate packs. Now what you do is you hold the pack like I'm holding it and you Square up the four aces and you tilt them like that. So you're actually pushing them in sideways. This corner here, I'm going to push down to this corner of the pack. So as I bring this down, let me just get my fingers out of the way. As I come down like that. Now, what's going to happen at this stage, can you see that's the aces there? As I push these in, watch what happens at the back. Let me just get my hand out of the way so you can see. As I push these in, 
these two fingers, this is gonna pull these down and push these in. So let me just see if I can do this without my hand in the way. It's a little bit awkward. Let me just push these in. And as you square it up, can you see what's happened? The four aces are here, sticking out the back. Now don't forget, the audience at the front, they don't see that. You tilt the angle up, you push those in, they don't see the aces sticking out the back. Now, I've exaggerated this so the camera can pick it up, but to be honest, it's normally just a little bit that you stick out. Practice that move, because then what you can do is just lift up a small portion of cards from the top, pull them back so it's in line with the four aces protruding from the rear of the packet, and strip them out like this. I've stripped them out. There are the four aces. You do a cut. Another one. Now the other cuts are just regular. The situation is I've managed to strip out those four aces and get them to the bottom. You can do all your shuffles and I want to get them to the top. You then get a spectator to choose a lucky card, which they do. The three of spades, you put that on top and you then get someone to pick four cards. So they pick out four cards, you strip those out, but you don't show them. Whoops. Whoops. Let me just add a couple more. I'm not gonna go and pick those up, they just shot across the, the table. <laughs> anyway, there's the four cards they've picked, don't show them. Drop the lucky rabbit's foot on there, you know that the next four cards are the four aces. So what I do is say you have a choice of any of these cards. You square them up, I've got a break. We've done this move before, you square up the cards and you're literally gonna swap all of these for these four. The illusion is, is that you've just put their lucky card on top. Just put these down as you talk about their lucky foot and get them to rub it and misdirection and all the other stuff that you know. Okay, and that's that. The move is done. Let me just do that again. There's the four races. I've got a break on there. Square these up and you're going to do a swap. Watch the fi fingers. Okay, now at this point the sound would have changed because my close up camera the batteries died. But let me just finish off, you do the swap out, the rest of it is just performance of revealing the four aces. And it looks as though they've chosen the four aces that were shuffled and lost in the pack. Hope you enjoyed that quickie. It's a great one to end with, just to finish off a routine. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Till next time, practice and enjoy.